every DJ got a story. You know, every DJ got something that set them all. Some people saw me, you know, like on uh, Rap City. Yes, BT Rap City. You know, I've been on Rap City not one time, not two times, not three times, not four times, not five times, not six times. You know what I'm talking about? I keep counting. Crazy part is that that was all in only about five months. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a whole lot going on right now. You know, different magazines been picking up on it and, and letting y'all know about like Break Magazine, you know, Grip Magazine, that's our magazine, our Street Masters. Got TV show go out in seven states. Hood Hard Day. You know, Hood Hard Day is where you know artists can come and you get a meaningful you, you can make meaningful connects. You know, you make connects with people that actually can help you. Ain't nothing like being in a room full of hungry artists and you get numbers with people and they all in the same situation you in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that we deal with are not average. Everybody will probably have questions like, how do I go from South Carolina working at a gas station to, you know, being on Rap City or having a TV show or working with some of the people that I work with? What I started doing was I started, you know, watching my boy, like my homeboy, DJ Sha Kim, you know, he DJ for Lil Bow Wow, So So Deaf. Um, he used to work at the mall, and one day I looked up, and this fella is like DJing for Bow Wow on the BET Awards. I about lost my mind. What that let me know was that, you know, it's possible to, you know, come from nothing and do something with yourself. You don't necessarily got to have a dope boy backing you. You can do it. You just got to work hard, you know, think, think smarter, not harder. Started following around DJ Fingers and doing all the parties in college, like everything, like Greek step shows. And it started off with a little bit of people. Next thing you know, it started being like hundreds of people started coming to my events. It was crazy. So, I was in college paid. After that, left there and uh, came to ATL. So I got to Atlanta. That's when it really started getting ridiculous. You know, it just I just kind of had another vision and decided to take it to the left. And you know, when I decided to do that, that's where Hood Hard came in the building. At. So now, you know, all the DJs that I was cool with decided that they were gonna roll with me. But we're not a DJ pool, we're not a record pool, you can't, you know, pay me to service a record, we like a fam, you know, Lil Jab, Lil Jab, you know what I'm saying, what the streets been missing, you know, if you don't know Malachi, Mr. Living in the Earth, Ayana, you know, everybody holler at everybody, so, you know, that's how we work, you know, we, it's like DJs, we the foundation for this whole movement, but the artists play a major part, just like we play a major part. Let me fast forward it back, you know, so this movement, this whole hood hard movement, you know, is designed to help indie artists get heard. You know, we, we work together. I show you things that, you know, people don't tell you and help you work together to get paid, get shows, promote yourself and not just one area. All over the place. Um, my purpose is to have, you know, kind of be like the Underground Railroad to help artists get from here to there. You know, I would like to have played a part. You know, so when you say my name, it's not like, yeah, you know Aries. I don't know. Aries who? I don't know. 